Hi, this is TJ with Piano Clubhouse. Today I'm going to show you I Trust You by James Fortune and Faya. It's in the key of D major. D major has uh, two accidentals, F sharp and C sharp. Okay. Let's get started with the introduction. The left hand is going to start on D octaves, D and D, and then with your pointer finger, you want to be sure you're hitting this A as well. Now, we're not hitting them at the same time. We're rolling from left to right. D, A, D. Okay? Now, after you hit these three notes, bring your third finger over your thumb and push E, F sharp. Okay? Those are the five notes that the left hand is doing in this first run. And of course, you, you can use your pedal to sustain it. Next, same pattern, different notes. G, D, G is the next three notes. G, D, G. Bring that third finger over to hit A and B. So that's the motion for the left hand. Those two, <clears throat> those two progressions with the octaves of D, and then those added notes, and then G. And that was the timing of it. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three, one, two. Okay. And those were eighth notes that we're playing, um, one after the other. Let's move to the right hand. <clears throat> of course, we're in the key of D, but. Uh, we're going to actually be playing this A suspended chord, or you'll be in the fingering of A suspended chord, A, D natural, E natural, and A, okay? And just like the left hand is going from left to right, the right hand is going to roll from left to right. Don't just push them all at the same time. Roll from left to right, okay? This is all the right hand is doing. There's no movements, there's no fancy progressions. The right hand is just doing these four notes. It's doing it four times. Um, or how many ever times the left hand is doing its progression. So it's one, D, E. These two notes, the D and the E in the middle, are very important that you hit them by themselves after you do that run. Okay, listen to the timing of it. One, D, E. D, E, A, run. D, E, A, run. D, E, A, run. And when I say run, I just mean the run from left to right. Okay? Now the left hand is going to move down, the right hand, excuse me, is going to move down an octave to this next A suspended chord, A, same notes, just an octave lower. We were here on this A, D, and A, A, D, E, A. We move down here to this A, D, E, A. <clears throat> Does the exact same thing, we're just lower now. The trick 
is putting it together with the left hand. There's some weird um, syncopation things going on between the left hand and right hand to where some of the items are not right uh, synced up with each other. So it's going to take practice to get it to sound just like the recording. Um, but let me show you how it's going to go. <clears throat> Remember the left hand is um, uh oh, that sharp. Okay. Right hand's doing the same thing. to think about it is they both start at the same time as soon as your left hand hits this D to start the roll to the to the right is this is the exact same time the right hand is going to do that run when the left hand flips over to hit this E is the same time your right hand is going to hit this D <clears throat> okay so those notes are hitting the same but the left hand when it goes up to its next note F sharp it hit this F sharp before the E. These are not at the same time, okay? Watch carefully. Together, okay? The E, those are together. And then the F sharp hits first, and then the E. I'll do it slowly. Same uh, thought there. down an octave okay the very last one we were on this a suspended chord the very last one before we go into the verse all you need to really do is just move this E up to F sharp and leave this left hand on on G, G's and D's, okay? Let's run the whole thing up to speed. hitting G, D, and G, same as it, as it was hitting before, okay? That is the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that is the, uh, the introduction. Let's get to the song. <laughs> 